Today we're doing something very different. We're doing bacon infused bourbon. Uh, this idea came to me from Jessica over at Savage Kitchen. She is also another YouTube bartender and part of my our YouTube Discord group. Uh, when I saw this, I thought, wow, what a great idea because this, while this is a big departure for the Manhattan Project, it does open up for us to do a ton of different things with this particular beverage. Okay, so the process involved in this, it's not actually bacon infused. It's actually called, the process is called fat wash bacon. So we're basically going to be putting bacon fat, bacon grease into bourbon, throwing it in the freezer, it's gonna separate, and then it's gonna basically be infused with bacon wash fat. And we are using wheel horse bourbon. Uh, this is a 101 proof bourbon. At $30 a bottle, this is a, a great bourbon for this, and Jesse and I both love everything made by a wheel horse to date. After it separates and comes out of the freezer, it's going to end up having to go back into this bottle. So I do want to make sure there's a little room for it. So I'm going to take, take one for the team and clear out a little bit of space. Uh, please. Guys, if you find this, go out and get it. You will not find a better bottle for $30, in my opinion. All right, so we're going to pull, pour in the whole bottle of bourbon. Remember, don't throw this away. So we cook bacon here on the weekends, and we started saving the, the grease here recently. So uh, I have a mason jar upstairs with this, and I just warmed it up in the microwave for a minute, and I almost want to do a shot. But uh, So the recipe calls for one to two ounces in a full bottle of bourbon. Uh, I went with about one and three quarters ounces. There we go. And for now, that's really about all there is to it. We're going to seal this up. Um, the directions I heard were to... Uh, let this sit for like two to three hours before you put it in the freezer and then uh, you know Give it a knock every now and then when you walk by it Just to keep things moving and let it infuse a little bit more But for this episode, that's it and it's gonna be a two-part episode. So we'll be back in a day or two Bye. Bye The next day Okay, okay <laughs> Welcome back to part two of Bacon infused bourbon. Yeah, uh, I'm excited. I grew a second half again. Second of the It's not a tumor. It's gonna be my lovely assistant for the night. Um, so what we're doing now is we're gonna the uh, the bourbon was left in the freezer all night and most of the day today. So now we're going to put it back in the bottle with straining it. All right. So here's our bottle. Here's this. Shenanigan. We're gonna go ahead and open that up, and because I think we're gonna have an issue with some finer particles, we're gonna use the fancy paper towel method because we don't have a coffee strainer. So that's right. That's what you get. <laughs> Bacon infused whiskey. Yeah, so this is a kind of a departure from what we normally do, but again, this opens us up to some different type of uh, <coughs> bacon cocktails. infused cocktails. Yeah, um, and there's a lot of things as our public well knows that goes with bacon. So I'm really interested to see how this turns out. So Wheel horse. So we should we should we should, we should have come up with a custom label. I just write bacon on it. <laughs> Sharpie? <laughs> yeah. Bacon. All right. Well, let's see. I don't smell right, bacon don't whatsoever. Smell. Hopefully it's just on the, on the taste bud. All right. I get nothing. All right, well, uh, on the smell-o-meter, it smells absolutely nothing like bacon. 
Here we go. Cheers. Well, it tastes a lot. It like tastes bacon. a lot like bacon. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. I like it. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. That is ridiculous. That isn't still still nothing on the nose, but when you go to you can even go into your mouth. I don't know. Now that I can taste it, like I don't know. When I nose things, I nose them with my mouth open a little bit. So I'm I'm probably inhaling some of like what's on my taste buds. <clears throat> holy, holy shit! I don't know what to make of this. It, um, it is very, very, for having absolutely no smell of bacon, mm -hmm. it tastes incredibly bacony. Right. Bacony is a word. And that's what it tastes like. Outrageous. I think this would be. Oh my God. A, a, like, good, a good bottle. Not This is not something you're going to want to drink neat like this every night, but like as a. Something special. Pull out, pull out the bottle, the bacon bottle. <coughs> you could really mess with some people with this, right? Because nobody is going to smell this and think there's bacon in it, right? And then as soon as they taste, they taste it. They're like, we should do, that? we should do that. We should expound, ex expound, expound, expound upon this project here and have some guests some, in and some blind taste test. Yeah, them. blind taste test, and then like throw this in there at the end. Anyway. I don't know. I'm excited to make some cocktails out of it and see mm -hmm. what it tastes like. I think this would be really good. Oh, you know what this would be really good in? If we made like a like a bacon maple old-fashioned. That was one that I've seen. Oh, yeah. like a breakfast old-fashioned. There's so many possibilities, though, with this. I mean, you know, chocolates, good with bacon. Um, oh, yeah. Like some chocolate bitters or yeah. even like... Banana. Oh. All right. Well, anyway, y'all, um, we're not rating this or anything. No, we? no, this is just for 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 fun. Yeah, I funds. mean, if you go back to our original, our original laws, um, our our rating, <coughs> at least as far as Manhattan's go, we're only doing American whiskeys that are out of the barrel, nothing artificially flavored. Yeah, well, this is naturally flavored. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you draw the line, though? I don't know. Throw a stick of vanilla in there. Well, it's, it's natural. This is true. All right. Well, <clears throat> I'm gonna take another sip. It's been an interesting experiment. Yeah. It's quite the mess we made, but uh, well worth it, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Well, we'll see when we make some cocktails. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers.